What is the quantum biology of frequency? Let's get started. This is the fifth and final video in my series of five different videos looking into the effect of what I'm calling the quantum biological pillars, the pillars of quantum biology. We're looking at water, we're looking at light, we're looking at sound, and in this video, we're looking at frequency. We're looking at the frequency of electromagnetic fields, of magnetism, scalar technology. We understand now that our body is not just this chemical mechanical model. We know that each cell in our body, and we have trillions and trillions of cells, each one of our cells is completing over a hundred thousand tasks per second. Some estimate in the millions of tasks each second per each cell. And that is mathematically impossible with this idea of random collision, with this idea that there is an enzymatic key bumping around the cell until it finds its receptor and unlocks that receptor. Now, this idea of quantum biology does not negate this chemical mechanical model. It gives us a new set of understanding of what's happening. We know that our cells are communicating with electromagnetic frequency. We know from the research that our cells are communicating with EMF. It has helped guiding their cellular behavior. It has helped guiding cellular migration and movement throughout the body. It's not chemical like we thought. It's also being driven by electromagnetic frequency, which makes sense. That can travel much faster than these chemical molecules. Now again, quantum biology doesn't negate this chemical model. It shows us a deeper understanding, a much smaller scale of this frequency language of quantum biology and how it impacts our body and living systems overall. We know that EMF is a guiding factor in differentiation and how a stem cell becomes an ear or an elbow, right? These electromagnetic fields are guiding they are educating and informing our cells that unseen guidance or information on a quantum biological level helps guide this fundamental aspect of our biology. And the idea of coherence, how our heart has a measurable electromagnetic field that is much greater than any other field in the body. We can measure a cell, we can measure the brain with an EEG, but the heart has an enormous electromagnetic field that entrains in a state of coherence. Coherence meaning two or more things working in tandem as one. And it brings up the idea of coherence being important for our health. We can see that with some of the research into magnetoreception. And this really started with birds and how some birds on their long migratory flights without a compass, without any uh, land stops, how do they get from point A to point B on these very long migrations without that. How are they so precise? Researchers are now understanding that the reception of photons of light coming in through their eyes and the spin that the magnetic field of the earth gives that relationship, that quantum entanglement happening there gives information to help act as a compass and guide that bird. And birds aren't the only ones that have this magnetoreception. Now, this is a, a very um, new and emerging field when it comes to human health, but we also are responsive to magnetic fields. The water in our body, water in general is also reactive to magnetic fields. And understanding how we can use EMF, 
uh, how we can use magnetic fields as information to guide the body into better states of health, more vitality, better biological function is something that I think is really where the future of medicine is and absolutely deserves more attention and more funding in the research. It's absolutely incredible what we're seeing emerge. I truly believe that these quantum biological pillars, these pillars of quantum biology, of water, of light, of sound, and of frequency can help guide us to a fuller picture of health. So if you like this content, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment down below with your experience of frequency or your questions. And thank you so much for joining me.